noticed I had like a small speck of paint in the middle of the lens on the camera so I've got a new lens coming and I'm gonna have to use it with no lens for this video hopefully I'll get one soon um, so yeah, this uh, bodywork part two by the way I've just um, given this a light sand with a sander um, just to find all the low spots which is pretty much um, yeah from there to there there's low spots all along there so um, I had the tape on which I just peeled off but I had tape on here and I just put the bog fill over the tape and then I peeled the tape off before the bog dried and yeah once it dries I'll put more tape on before I start the sanding and then I'm just going to do above the line I'm going to get all that right all that bog work done then I'll swap the tape around I'll put the tape from here to here and I'll do down here so that is the plan um, shouldn't take me too long to do this side because I just did the other side so it's fresh in the head at the moment so okay so I just sanded that bog fill and um, so I'm going to add some more bog fill in here um, you can kind of tell by looking at this roughly where the low spots are like for example see this section here how you can see that curve obviously that's you know a high sort of area but you see this spot down here that hasn't sanded and how the edge is still rough here so it's going to need filler from about here to here fill that in and then all that will cover this side of that is fine here that's all fine there there's a little bit in here so a bit of a rough edge um, here definitely needs a little bit down here up here it's kind of hard to tell I might not have just sanded that enough but I'll just put a little bit more there just in case a little bit around here um, a bit through here this section here is right and there's a little bit in the middle here filling little holes but down the bottom there it's good yeah piece through that area sort of there that's the sort of thing you gotta look out for that are gonna show as like a low spot if you're trying um, paint over it there's a little spot up here too I've got to put some bog in so there's a pretty sharpish sort of curve in the middle here kind of the bulge down that's why it's gone into that there so I'm hoping this area is going to look alright but we'll have to wait and see you know I'll put another coat of bog on sand it and see where we're at I'll do some measurements with this and um see if we're looking similar to the other side so top half sanded let's put bog on the bottom half and run the tape across again so I'm just letting this dry a little bit more and then I'm going to sand uh, the bottom area get it right I'll just sand it down the bottom here and the lower sill the lower sills pretty straight probably just I don't know like it needs a little bit but I might just be able to use the all you need but for just for that little bits like there just a very light low I'll put some bog in that one in that little corner section I need a little bit of bog here and in all these spots and up here as well there's just a low area here a bit of bog in there and in front and yeah then we can go to the door and stuff and whatever else and no, no. bit of this bit of that all right we look kind of the same as the other day but i've just been kind of doing what i did the other side of those little spots everywhere of bog and there's a bit down there similar to the other side um 
couple of spots across that guard. Um, and then I'm going to go over the edges um, with a light sand and put a coat of oil you need on. And I'll paint back here as well. I had to put a big bit of bog here to get the lines right between the guard and the door. They're pretty close, but let's either do it with bog or try and smash heaps of oil you need on. So, it's looking really good. All right, so I just got the oil you need on. Get down the bottom there. And got the recorder on. And tomorrow I'll give this a sand and see how it looks, but no doubt it's going to need another coat of all you need. Alright, so I just put some tape on. All the all you need is just dried overnight, so I've got some tape um, on the bottom of the line. And I'm going to sand on the tape up on the guard, the door, rear quarter just with the um, sander I'll probably put some 120 grit on it and then I'll take the tape off put the tape above the line and I'll sand below the line same back there and I'll probably do another cut of all you need because I reckon I'll go through somewhere and that should be enough and then I'll be able to do a final sand on the other side and this side and hopefully it's all looking straight and good for the primer to go on. Quarter sanded and the guard and the door, just the top half. So now I'm going to go through. Um, might do the bottom of the door and this lower section here, probably down here. And then I'm going to clean up the corners. So I'll do across the top and another coat of oil it to try and fill in some of the other small bits, which I'll show you. There's a minor low spot here. I ran out of um, that fine bog, otherwise I would have just bogged it up. And there's two little spots here. So I might actually try and put bog in there because it's going to make it a bit easier. Um, little speckles here. Here, it's like very minor low spots. So the next coat of oil you need should cover them because they're minor. 
Um, can't really see our shredders. It looked straight before when I put the um, uh, wax and grease remover over it. And as you can see, there's a lot of couple of high and low spots here on the door. I had to beat in a bit here because it was sticking out. Um, but overall, once another coat should cover all that up. So, excellent. Okay, so the final sand down this side is done. I put some um, wax and grease down it and had a look how straight it is and it actually looks really good. So, doing one more coat of all you need for that dry. Then I can do the uh, final sand on both sides and blend this line in. And then once I finish that, I'll probably remove the front end and take the doors off. I'm gonna paint them separate, so. And then I'll get the shell done and then do the doors, guards, nose cone. But I need them all on here at the moment just to get the, the gaps right. And the line. I want to make sure I sand these the same both sides so they look the same and not super sharp. Alright, so I'm now at the point where I'm going to sand both sides and what I'm currently doing is going over this body line, blending it in. I'm just using one of the, the small Dura blocks, a little square one, and um, pretty much just going over the line like that. And just trying to blend it in and I'll show you guys the line how it looks currently you see that line there it's kind of quite a little bit sharp, it looks alright. I've still got to put um, some primer over the top and stuff and another sand, but I'm going to try to blend them in a little bit more than that. And yeah, should look really good when it's all done. I'm going to put a time lapse video on and um, yeah, I've been sanding this side of the unit anyway. And I'll show you how I do it. Do it. I'll do a little walkthrough and then I'll do the time lapse video. So, obviously, the line through here is very sharp because I taped it, put paint over it, and there was a dead sharp line running through here. Okay, the line's a little bit too sharp. I just put, you can't see it now, but I just put some um, stuff on, had a look down it. It's a very sharp line. So, I'm going to do three quarter, I'll get the other side done. And then I'm gonna try and, I'll blend them in as best I can a bit more. Cause I don't want the defined line. That's it anyway, it's just a matter of sanding, you know, across the line, 
up and down different angles and just flattening it out. I'm using the sharper edge of the block, the skinny edge, so it's more likely to um, follow the line. I could try doing it on the, the more square edge and that will um, probably help level it out a bit more and blend it in a bit better. But I'm going to do the whole, um, all the lines on that angle and then I'll come back and yeah, do it on the other side. Changed up my sanding style a bit. I'm now using the flat edge of the block because I noticed the line's actually really sharp. So I'm going to have to try and blend it better with this. That's a bit too sharp for my liking. There's some spots here where I should have had uh, more material as well, but I'm going to have to try sand the upper side of it because I think it's too much. Might be too much filler above it. So I'm gonna try to sand the top. So the um you know the top section isn't higher than the bottom section because that's the problem that's going on here with that mark. And same with the garden door. I went over it with the flat edge here to level it out a bit better. And I'll just keep going until I'm happy with how the line looks which is going to take a long time. So I'm not going to do any more time-lapse videos. I just wanted to give a basic rundown of how I'm doing it and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so what I established with the body line was it kind of fades off a lot in the middle here. It's like that on both sides, so it must just do that from the factory. If you look at the side of that, you'll see the gap there. And then up there, there's another gap. So this panel pretty much goes kind of in and then it has like a slight bulge. That's pretty much what I've been trying to keep. So it's more just, it's not so much the line, it's the shape of the, um, the body. I'll just keep calling it body line. Am I confusing you? Good. So I'm going to put some shit on. It's starting to look a bit better. Sanded this line a bit more to try and blend it in. It's not too bad. Put a bit more stuff on here. Even that's still a bit too sharp for what I want to make it look good. Okay, I just took the masking stuff off the front. I'm going to take the front end off and take the doors off. I did a good job masking because I only managed to get dust under here. No overspray. It was good. And I'll remask up the firewall once I get all this stuff off. Then I'll concentrate on getting the shell painted. 
Okay, what was decided is I just put on three coats all you need each side. And that's how I'm gonna blend the lines in. I couldn't do much before because I couldn't see a thing. Makes it really hard. But this line here is a bit too sharp. <coughs> For my liking. <coughs> Um, this line here is nowhere near as sharp. It's actually not too bad, this one. I probably, I need to be happy with it, but it fades away in the middle here. From about here to here. It just doesn't have the curve in the panel. So, I might have to try shape the, all you need, try and curve it in to the middle. I'll see how I go. I just chucked on some uh, auto body sealant down in that little crack here. I just used tape so I could make the job a bit neater. Just down in there. If you don't put anything in there when it rains, the water tends to pool up down here in the corner and then it'll go under the metal and Start rusting. So, it's all sealed up now. I'll just put some um, filler up here to fix up. Uh, like ages ago, I had a weld a piece in here because it was damaged. So, I just need to put a bit of filler in there. And in the back here, I just skim one end to the other because it was loaded in dents and little sections there and there all right so i've got this whole side um pretty much finished sanded still a lot of deep scratches i'm going to try and sand out and then um this side here the line uh it went non-existent in the middle here so I had to dig into it until hit the metal and try to get it as best I could. So um, to make the middle look all right, it's covered in dust again. I had to blend the line in at the back a bit more and not the front, make it a bit less sharp. Wax and grease remover. Still pretty sharp. It'd be better when it's all one colour. It's kind of hard to tell with the bog of the stuff in there. But that line is yeah, right through. Which is good. So Kind of how I wanted it, kind of like really faint, but there it's excellent. And the quarter panel itself is very straight, but as it should be, I've spent like a million years sanding it. Um, so we'll do this side tomorrow, re sand that, try to get that line match the other side a bit better, and yeah, final sand everywhere. Bogged all in the back here. That pretty much from one end to the other was full of dents. So that's bogged up, so look nice and straight. Um, little torn cover clip area. There's some holes up the front there I had to bog up. And so it'll, a lot of work doing like a final sand, like running around in here and sanding. I'm painting from here up pretty much. So I would have go around and sand all in here. Up in around the back window. Yeah, all over there. The underbody area, like the lip under here. I just want to run over it with sandpaper so the paint sticks and doesn't 
fall off and stuff. So another big day sanding. We've got both three quarters done now. They're both looking really good. I did go through to bare metal in the middle, but the curve is still in there. So I'm hoping it doesn't stand out. Same as this side in two areas. And I've literally got the whole thing sanded. I just missed some um, little areas up here where I welded them to want to cover pins up. So I'm just letting that dry. I'm going to give that a light sand and wax and grease the whole thing. And then I'm going to put some epoxy on it and then I can have a really good look at um, the bodywork then. Um, so what I've kind of learnt with these body lines is it's better to have material to work with. So, like for example, this line here, it was kind of sharp, sharp there, and it faded off in the middle. If I had more material in the middle, I could have just um, cut into it a bit and then blended it and made it look uniform sort of thing, but there wasn't enough material for me to do that. But like, I think from factory, these quarters, that's how the line is. Like it goes out and then in the middle here, around the wheel arch, it near fades off to nothing. Like there's a slight, it's next to nothing. You'll see when it's done, but yeah, both sides are exactly the same. They both fade off in the same area. So it's gotta be like a factory thing. I don't even know if they got these body lines right from the factory anyway, so. Um, yep, sanded everything to death. I'm tired, my back's sore. Let's put some epoxy on. Really good, like extremely good. The best I've ever painted, or oh, got a body straight, I should say, is literally this floor. There's this area here um, that I couldn't see, which is nothing. I just put, I got three coats of epoxy over the whole ute, so I'll be able to sand that bit out when I do the final sand. It's very minor. It's the same on the other side where I went through to the bare metal. There's like a couple little sandy lines, but I'll get them out when I do the final sand. Blend that in so it'll be nice and smooth. It's like killer straight. So it's going to look really good when the black goes on. Nailed it! Alright, so I just wet and dry sanded the whole ute with a bucket. And 400 grit. Originally I did 800. 
this is way too slow so I've spent about four hours wet and dry sanding this thing and yeah I'm just I just used 400 grit and I'm sticking to that I've always used 400 grit and it's turned out good so I'm gonna let it all dry and give it a wipe down give it a blow down on the compressor and then it's pretty much ready for the black paint it's really um I had to there's an area here of the body line where um I had to try and cut into it to reshape it because it drooped down a bit I had to do that on both sides it's very painful the only thing that kind of annoys me about this body line is because it goes down the guards and the doors I've got to try and get it right and go down the guards and the doors so and I've got one door at the moment that's like a lot the right hand side door it's different to the left hand side door so I've got to try and go through and try and you know blend it in make it look similar to this it's a bit of a nightmare really it's actually made the job really stressful if it was just bogged up no problem doing this very stressful great hair everywhere let's paint this thing tomorrow it's time today's paint day Got the spray gun ready I've just wiped this down blown it down it's all clean ready to go and I'm gonna mount this camera um, probably on that guard Wish me luck. go too bad but I did make an error that's bit me in the ass in the past which is when you use plastic the shit blows all over the paint and that's what happened at the front here just on the cow panel so I'm gonna have to redo the cow panel so I just put a coat on it and then I realized that shit was flying everywhere so um, roof turned out really good Still a bit rookie with a spray gun, but um, overall, not better off looking from back this way. very straight a little bit of orange peel that can buff out easy enough so I'm not too worried there got some runs oh, there's a run through the middle there okay, and that'll block out we did get some runs on this side too can't remember where but I did see it up front here got one run there which sucks but 
I'm always bound to get a run somewhere. What do you reckon about that bodywork? I knew it was going to look good. Put enough hours into it, so. It's awesome. Like all my paint jobs, they get better after they're buffed because I always get orange peel when I paint. So, very happy besides having the redo the cow panel. Um, yeah, I have to get rid of all this plastic with all the little flakes of primer and stuff all over it. So I can redo that and just do some remasking, fix that up. And I've bought some Raptor liner to do the tray, so I only want to do it here. And just to that area around there and then i'll do a wrap of liner the rest the tubs it's like a flat black um fuel proof sort of stuff that you can stand on you're not going to scratch it so that's why i wanted it more to um use the tray all right so i just got the door out the back here <clears throat> and i just taped up the line which i have in the door and as you can see that there's next to no line in this door because I sanded it out so the bottom of the tape is where the line's meant to be and you can see it's literally not even like barely a millimetre there so I had to do this on the body of the ute as well but what I'm going to do is hold this air sander on an angle and I'm going to just cut into the um, polyester along the line and take the tape off, put the tape down the bottom and do the same, cut across in there so it's pretty much kind of got a V in there and then put the tape on the line and then just blend sand it in and tape off, blend sand it the other way and then blend the line back in and I have to put another coat of all you need over the top to try and fix it. Okay, I've got this door done and the other door done. And I'm just about to put the paint on. This body line was a bit sharp on this door, so I had to sand it a bit flatter. I'm hoping it's gonna look all right and match the guard and the other door but I'm not really going to know until I get the paint on. And I'm not putting my camera in here again because I got paint on it last time, so I'll just come back when it's painted. I know there's not much light in here, but the job I did on this door turned out amazing. Might need orange peel free. I'll turn the pressure up on the spray gun. A little bit more thinners. And looking really really good I did get some runs down the bottom here when I did the underside but that's kind of normal the amount of thinners I put in it good paint, painting things when they're flat because you can actually put the paint on and you know the chance of runs is very slim So I'm going to let this dry 15 minutes, do another coat and let it dry a little bit, get this door out, get the other door in and paint it. It'd be good if I could paint two at a time but my shed's not big enough. Other door. Makes it really hard to paint when there's not much light. But it's very smooth. It looks killer. I'm doing the underside as well, so I'm doing the underside and the top side in one go. This one just needs one more coat. There's the first coat. Just do one more and that's it, doors are done. 
currently doing the guards now. I'm actually not overly impressed with um, getting the flutes pressed into the guards because of the I've noticed there's a lot of distortion around the flutes and stuff. Originally, I got them fluted thinking it was going to make it easier. Um, I've actually got some original GDS guards up on the wall there. But I've gone to that much work with these. These are getting used. Um, yeah, it's just painful. Like this middle area, like the front area here, is kind of dipped in. Like, if that makes sense. So the, it's got like a, a sway at the front of the flutes here. Which is a bit of a pain. And yeah, just notice like when they were pressed, there's a lot of... Um, yeah, around the flutes are kind of like a bit um, bent up and stuff, but that was on both of them. So it probably would have been just as easy as doing weldings after having to do all this, which is a bit disappointing, but they're coming along good. Um, I'm just going to give these a sand and hopefully get some primer on these today and um, yeah get them painted get them put it on the ute get the front done as well and then I'll have a complete ute to look at twin headlight front is all done just had a bit of filler work to do down the bottom there all the top halves already been done when I had it on the ute and the guards, these have been pretty painful. I already had the top halves done. And I just have to do around the flute area. As you can see, they took a lot of filler. When I got these pressed, it actually um, bent up the guards a lot down the bottom there. So, yeah, not a huge fan of um, pressing guards after having to do all that. So, but it's done. So I'm going to put some epoxy. I think I've only just got enough in the bottom of that tin. I'm going to put epoxy on the guards and on the front, and hopefully they don't need too much more work after that. Okay, back on the guards again. I've literally just sanded the bottom half only. Went through to bare metal, so I've got to put some epoxy on again. It's very windy outside. I think the flutes are going to end up looking pretty good. It did take a lot of work. That's some filler down there. Some filler in there. Lots of filler to get them to um, look how they should. So yeah, I'm going to put some epoxy primer on the bottom. And tomorrow I'll give them a final sand, and then I can put the black paint on the guards and the front nose cone. And I bought this stuff because I'm doing the tray, so I'm just going to chuck some of this on. Well, I've got runs all through the guards, so... And because these epoxy, it's really slow to dry, and the weather is pretty cool and crap, so... I'm not going to be able to do the guards this Saturday and it's Thursday now, which kind of sucks. I don't have any heat lamps or anything, so I'm just going to have to wait. But for now, we're going to get paint on the front apron, which I just mixed up. And at least I'll get that done. And then I'll probably just do some buffing or something in the meantime until I can get them guards sorted. They've been a pain in the ass, but I'm getting there. The paint has gone on this really neat. Neat enough for me to get the grapho out and show you guys. I'm finally starting to learn how to use this spray gun. So I've made an absolute horrid mess of these guards. 
with runs. You can probably see a few of the runs there. I've um, cut some of the major runs out with a razor blade. I use that Raptor liner, um, Raptor liner epoxy. I've never used it before. It runs quite easily, I found, and very hard to sand. So I'll probably never use it on a panel on the car again. I'll be using it in the tray of the ute, but yeah, I didn't realize it was such a pain to work with. Um, but I got one guard done. That's good news. A lot of sanding. So I'm going to um, get that dry and I'll get some black paint on it. Alright, first coat. Yeah, I can see a run already. God damn it. Right there. Oh shit, in there. Not good. Not good at all. I'm good at getting runs lately. Anyway, um, the guard is painted. I'll get another coat or so on this and yeah, move on. Alright, so I just put the second coat on and after a certain amount of runs I quickly lay the guard down so just to stop the runs getting any worse. I'm not having much luck painting lately. But I've got a collection of runs right there and I just wanted to stop them from all going down into the flutes which I did and only just I've only really got one that went in there which will be easy to get out. And I've got some yeah, under here and under there and everywhere, but a little buff out at least. What can you do? You can probably stand this back up now and just let it dry. And it's looking really good, besides that. That body line turned out pretty neat. I've got the other guard sanded and I'm getting the black on. So there's the last panel I've got to paint besides the bonnet down the track. And I'm not putting the paint on as thick this time because I don't want any runs. So do the tailgate hinges over here. Tailgate hinges painted. So I can mount the tailgate as well. All right, the ute is back together and it is looking really good. So I haven't buffed the front end. I've only done, I've done this quarter, the door. and the tailgate. I've still got to buff this side. I have buffed the door. I need to buff the guard. I only just temporarily sat the front on also. So, because I've got to get the radiator support out and get it blasted. Also the inner guards, I need to get them blasted get them painted and I'll have to put the Raptor liner in the ute tray as well at some point going with the these are just the rare spares ute bumpers the quality of these are actually pretty impressive for a China made object There's a hole there. That's gonna look pretty neat. I like the ute bumpers on the utes. I know you can put the 
sedan bumpers and stuff on them. A lot of people do. I've done it myself in the past, but I just kind of want to try and keep it as close to how they look when they come out as I can, besides the big wheels and stuff. Well, that's it. Um, I've got a lot of buffing to do. So I'm going to wrap this up and I don't know if I'll put buffing in this video or the next one and then I can just start piecing this ute back together, which is the fun part. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.